Hello, and welcome to another episode of Patents TV. I'm your host, Jeff Bond, and today is episode 62. It's also our featured vendor day, and this is actually the end of our 2014-2015 season. Um, we're going to take two months off and come back in August and start it all over again. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But today's um, featured vendor is um, Prox Talker um, and also Logan Tech. Um, and we have actually Glenn Dobbs, who created the Logan Prox Talker. Um, we have a short video for you to see with him, and we've got a couple other things that we'll look at as well. Hi, my name is Glenn Dobbs, inventor of the Prox Talker. My son Logan has severe autism and is completely nonverbal. The professionals told me he would never talk, and also that a dynamic screen device such as an iPad would be too difficult for him to use. This was very frustrating as a parent, but as an engineer, I wanted to solve the problem, so I invented the Prox Talker to give Logan a voice. All of the Prox Talker products use RFID, or radio frequency identification tags. These are things you might have at work to let you in the door. Some hospitals use them for access control. Each one has a chip and an antenna, and we have two sizes available. The Prox Talker has uh, the ability to hold 10,000 words or phrases. Each one is associated with one of these tags. So when you take one of these tags and put it on here, it'll speak. I want to drink apple juice. But what's really exciting is the ability to customize. So we have tags here for customizing. I can record my favorite kind of cookies. Press card to be recorded. Pass the tone, begin recording your sound. Chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies. Please wait. And now it will say that. Chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies. It will also say that over here. Chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies. Thank you. My son Logan tends to be pretty rough on equipment. As a result, we designed the Prox Talker to be very durable. To test the durability of the product, we decided to run it over with this full-size Dodge truck. Good. We have a free app called the Prox Talker app, available at the App Store, and you can also get Symbol sets uh, are available as in-app purchases. It's used to customize the Prox Talker and also to make very useful communication boards. As we learn more about the needs of our customers, we adapted our products to meet their needs. One of the more exciting things we've done is the ProxPad Choice Maker. It's similar in operation to the Prox Talker, but it allows people with more motoric challenges uh, to, to use this for communication. So here's a car on a tag and I can hold it above it and it, it'll talk. Let's go for a drive in the car. All products, including the Prox Talker, have their proper application. No one product will do all things for all people. Logan, after four and a half years of using the Prox Talker, eventually did transition to using a dynamic screen device. In fact, he's currently using an iPad with the TouchChat app. This is an outcome we never expected and are very grateful for. If you or anyone you know would like to try the Prox Talker with an individual whom you think would benefit from it, please go to our website or give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Quite a neat piece of technology. And Glenn actually also showed the ProxPad, um, which was a, just a one um, surface device. And we've got a little video to show just how that one operates too. It's a little bit different um, and yet still the same. For more information about the ProxPad and other products, please visit us online at proxtalker.com. Hi, my name is Glenn Dobbs. I'm the president of proxtalker.com and my son's name is Logan. Logan has autism and he is nonverbal. We invented the Prox Talker for Logan to help him speak. It's an augmentative communication device. It uh, uses radio frequency identification tags and movable pictures to allow uh, Logan uh, to, to produce voice output. Well, along the way we encountered many professionals who would want a device for kids who had more severe, um, profound physical access issues. We invented the ProxPad Choice Maker. The ProxPad Choice Maker uses the same technology, RFID, that the Prox Talker uses, except it has an added benefit. There are three positions on the switch on the back, off, touch, and proximity. All the way over we have proximity, and the light comes on, and you can see that when we move it over there, let's play a game. That it can read from a distance. It's kind of like magic. You take this thing and you put it near it, let's play a game. and it talks. Now when I switch it over to touch, it requires that I actually touch Let's it. Play a game. 
so it won't read Let's play a game. until I touch it. If you want to make a, a recording, you can take any of these blank tags and you take the record tag and you put it over here. Press card to be recorded. And you take the blank tag. Got the tone. You can record it yourself. Let's go to the beach and go swimming. I'm hot. Please wait. So now, I've recorded that. Let's go to the beach and go swimming. I'm hot. I could have my hand wrapped around it and just Let's go put it near it. I'm hot. You can use visual symbols or tactile symbols for uh, sighted and non-sighted students to communicate. We have large format and small format tags available for use with the ProxPad. We put some tape on the back of it, put it on one of our blank tags just like that and press it. Now you have a nice tactile symbol um, that doesn't say anything yet. So if I take the record tag, I'm going to customize it now. Press card to be recording. At the tone, begin recording your sound. Piano. Please wait. Piano. The tags from the Prox Talker can also be used on the Prox Pad. This is our most recent addition. This is the educational sound tag set developed by New York City's District 75. It includes the upper and lower case letters, numbers 0 through 20, some math symbols, and the Give Me 20 set, which has 20 commonly used AAC words. One. Plus. We also have a storage capability for your tags. Different colors can be representative of, of different subjects. There are a variety of colors available, and you can use a variety of software to customize your tags uh, for the individuals you're working with. ProxPad is available with 10 languages at this point, and we keep adding languages as needed. Here's an example of Spanish. The ProxPad comes with the ProxPad unit, 10 large format cards, and the programming tags. The ProxPad Choice Maker runs on four AAA batteries um, for about an entire day if you're using it in constant mode um, or if it's in the touch mode it can run for weeks. Also available are the power supply in case you wanted to plug it into the wall and leave it on um, for a long time. And we also have available the Talking My Way cards which have a set of 30 cards all different types and varieties that you can um, use. It looks like this. The Talking My Way cards is a separate set that you would get that would work with the Prox pad. And um, you can get it from proxtalker.com. Again, just another little uh, variation on, on the original Prox Talker. Um, Glenn mentioned uh, the iPad and the app. I just happen to have um, the light version here. And it's really easy to, to, um, to do. It's just a matter of uh, selecting the, the um, box that you want to put it in, and then you select the picture and so forth. So um, you can create these um, for the, the Prox Talker and for the Prox Pad. So um, it comes in a light version, it comes in a plus version, and then it comes in a professional version. So those are, are three, different, um, three different options. So the light version is kind of nice just to get your hands on and kind of see what, what's available there. Um, it uses stick symbols and widgets, I believe, widget picks. Um, anyway, so that's the, the Prox Talker um, app. Um, we have one other thing to show you, and it's actually the six dot braille label maker, um, an interesting little piece of, of technology that offers you to actually go in and do label making for, um, for those braille users. So we'll take a peek at that. This is the new six dot braille label maker. It features a braille keyboard. So you've got dots one, two, three, and four, five, and six here. Space bar, this is your cutting and scoring button in the middle here, and you have up and down controls for your volume for your beeping features. Power switches over here. This is a USB port, which you can plug a QWERTY keyboard into, and this is a um, power jack to plug it into the wall if you need to tape loads in here through this door here and the batteries are on the back. It's got four nice feet and it sits down real nicely and um, you can turn it on and start it up and just start tape typing. And then you turn it over and you can 
to the Braille coming out. And then when I want to cut it, I just hit this button and it cuts and scores it. Simply pull it off there. And what's nice is it leaves you a nice tab like that. So you can easily peel it to label everything. Here's a good example of salt and pepper. Got my salt and pepper labeled and I can tell what they are. These are both grinders. So uh, same design on the outside, but I can uh, tell which one is which before I put it on my food. Um, the tape door is right here. It's easy to, to install and uninstall. I'm going to pull tape out. Just open my door here, stick my tape in just like so, and it'll grab it, start pulling it in, put that in there, and you can see it'll pull it in until it sticks out the other side. Close the tape, and we're ready to go. If you want to change the batteries, you just open up the hatch there and you can change them. And uh, the polarity is obvious to feel with the springs going to the negative. There's six AA batteries, uh, alkaline. And then to close the hatch, just do that and you're finished. If you don't know how to type Braille, but you need to make labels for someone that you know who could use the Braille labels, it's really easy to use the six dot using the QWERTY keyboard. You just plug it in like that, turn it on, and you can start typing. And I just typed my name. There we go. Now I just made my name. I can peel it very easily like that. Oops. What a nice piece of technology and it makes it really nice to, to actually have uh, the device available to do braille even with a keyboard. So um, that, that was a nice nice piece. We also have a, a hundred dollar um, hundred dollars off on that particular device that we're going to have a promotion for patents. It will last through the end of, of May. So hundred dollars off, you know, makes it a little more affordable. So hopefully you can get in and, and take advantage of that. We also um, are going to be changing up patents TV just a little bit. It's only in name. Um, again, we'll be back in August. The, the first uh, Tuesdays of the month are going to be things that um, we bring folks in like um, some of the other site coordinators and look at some um, some different ways of, of working with students around the state. And then our third Tuesday is going to be our, our featured um, solutions. So we're going instead of feature vendors, it's going to be feature solutions. We kind of think that solutions are really what we have um, available. For example, today with the ProxTalker, ProxTalker pad, um, and then the, um, the six dot Braille label maker. So we're going to take a little break here for two months, come back, and we're going to start a whole another season of Patents TV and look forward to seeing you there.